Say hey, Gus. Hey. <laughs> we're getting this propane tank hooked up. We're going to see if it's, uh, they got to test it and stuff, but we're going to get it installed on the old van. Man, uh, we're doing the hardware. Yeah. And I said, let's just take it. It's just like a port. He's going to use it for, uh, just for a heater in the wintertime. We're going to try to find someone that, you know, understands this and, and look yeah. at it and stuff, but they was using it, everything was working, so we figured that it's got to be able to get through. Okay, so it's leaking right there. So yeah. all this oldness. Oh. Yeah, so basically they just need to reinsert it's it. Leaking in between. So. We could fix that. It would empty it. I mean, I don't think it was leaking there, but it's not. Same little leak there. All right, we got a lot going on right now. Pops is uh, replacing a wire to some yay who put in here that's running all the way down to the brake lights. This red one here, <laughs> it's running over the gas nozzle and. It, it's bad. That's some Euro Yahoo stuff, but he's rerunning it and it's going to go up and over and back to there. It goes down to the tail lights. And then also, we've got these two can lights that came out of that old RV build. It's going to be one in each corner here. And then the wire for that is right here. It's already run. So, mount them here. And we'll have to do some kind of conduit at some point, but for now. And then I replaced the shocks. <laughs> These are the old janky ones. Boy, they were in bad shape. Uh, so she got new shocks. Uh, we did the wiring on the propane tank. Is getting ready to be mounted here. Uh, and then one more thing. I'm not sure if we're gonna get rained on or not, but I'll put this flex fan up here, which means I'm gonna have to pull these trans cooler lines at some point to get the old one out. But I'm excited about that flex fan. And back in 1969, this was cutting edge technology. These uh, fins, it's a thin metal, the higher RPM, causes those to flex so they push less air but they push more air at idle so these things are actually really cool you don't need a clutch or any of that silly stuff you know i do believe this is going to be an upgrade what do you think they told me i had to get the spacer but i actually don't think i need it because i already had one on there that's not the original fan because they came with a flex fan i don't know what that piece of trash is not that upgrade <laughs> and thankfully i was able to snake it over that line without having to, to drop the trans cooler line yeah buddy just got a bolter in they already had a spacer and yeah, propane tank is mounted i'm gonna have to take it to knoxville to get refurbished uh it's leaking around this thing get it recertified but anyway i'm mounting it there for now it's empty and Gus is over here putting in our old can lights, notching it up. Okay, it has been determined actually that, uh, yeah, there were some wiring issues with the old connectors. Um, so for now, we've at least got the lights installed. We had them running for a second, but it was going to be a fire hazard. Uh, so they're not plugged up to anything right now. And then on the flex fan, I've got to get a longer bolt, one inch longer since I'm putting a one inch spacer. So we're going to track the supply here in a minute to do that. Okay, so tank is mounted. As you can see, uh, I've got to be careful because it is messing with my clearance in the middle just a little bit. Uh, should be all right though. But you know me, sometimes I get a little wild with it. Okay, so we got the new bolts for for the flex fan. They're much longer. And I'll tell you what, 
I have just accepted the fact that I'm going to have to pull this grill off because I just don't have room to work with and I'm going to booger up my radiator. I put some cardboard in front of it to try to not booger it. But anyway, so yeah, grill's coming off. So you got to unbolt this pillar here. Just two bolts there. I mean, a lot of people, if I wasn't pulling the radiator back, I would just pull this out, but this whole thing's got to come out. So lead attached there, two bolts there. There's a few bolts here in the corner. Now there might be a, a lot of cussing in between now and then, but I should be able to... <laughs> yeah, there definitely was cussing involved, but uh, got her off. Grills off enough where I could pull this forward a bit. I'm covered in sweat, but by golly, I got it to where I can finish her up tomorrow. Who you cooking, Mama? Man, I still do love coming to my mom's house. So we've got rain today, but we shall adapt and overcome. Yeah, I've been kind of scared to look at the back side of this because I knew there were some issues going on here behind this headlight. Uh, Got to find a new one of those bowls. I know the ones off the F-Series trucks will work. But man, I really love this grill. I, I need to clean it up. It's honestly my favorite part of the of the vehicle and also while i got it out i should go ahead and wire it. these headlights have got turn signals in them i need to go ahead and get them wired up yeah that thing's super cool getting ready to pull this radiator it's just four bolts holding it in yeah this is a brand new one it's got of course a trans cooler built in but it's top dog she is on there got back from the parts store so we can work on this jankiness he had duct tape just wrapped around headlight connector and that and then these bullet plugs are in bad shape we're going to replace the bullet plugs with this and we'll place the headlight connector with this high temp one. Oh yeah, baby, I'll tell you what, I got it all put back together, but uh, those new shocks in the rear, they're a game changer. Like, I did not realize how much that was affecting this thing, because I only replaced the fronts previously. But yeah, it's it feels uh, just a lot stiffer in general. So nice, flick fans on, grills back on, all put back together i'm a happy camper i kept up with my schedule because i've got to be i got a doctor's appointment on monday today saturday tomorrow i have time to go to church with mama and then get home be in time for my uh doctor's appointment so overall this past week or so i would say has been a success i'll be dropping one more video on this trip uh, that'd be just covering the ride home. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be fairly uneventful. Because I've been out on the road a while, so I'm ready to I'm ready to get back to mama, my sweet lady. Anyway, I appreciate y'all tuning in. If you're still watching, hey, you're a trooper. I'm a new guy. I'm learning. I'm getting better as I go. Love y'all. Peace out.